hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is Ajua and I hope this video finds you well if you are new to this place please consider subscribing and to all my returning subscribers thank you so much guys I truly appreciate every single thing first of all let me say this to BDK you actually have a mole in your company because someone gave the entire whole recipe of Gris Chanel to Latafa in the form of Liam Gray. What? This is a one-to-one -one dupe. I'll just you know make it clear from the very beginning. This is a very one-to-one -one dupe of um, BDK's Gris Chanel and this is Liam Gray from Latafa. I have um, Liam Gray here. I have BDK here. Um, vice versa. I can't even determine which one is which at this point because there is absolutely nothing to differentiate these two. I'm not a fake lover. I don't love fake fragrances. The few fake fragrances I have come across, I never really appreciated them. So I've always tried to stay clear of um, fake fragrances. However, one of my subscribers or I think an audience, a viewer, you know, um, pointed to me that this is a, this is supposed to be a dupe of um, Gris Chanel. I had no idea because I wasn't really checking this fragrance out honestly i always thought of it as a um, very masculine because of the bottle i guess felt like it's going to be a very masculine leaning fragrance just like the liam you know the, the blue bottle i think i'll put it up here somewhere so i sort of you know stayed clear of it thinking it's a very masculine fragrance but i was wrong this is an apparent dip of bdk's Chris chanel and i have a sample of this from sense plate and when i compare these two i'm just giving you all the tea from the start it's a very hundred percent like 99 percent there is absolutely no difference between these two so let me just give you the note structure here the notes in liam gray are fig cardamom and black tea at the top labdinum iris vetiver in the middle sandalwood vanilla patchouli and tonka at the base i think the only difference between these two in terms of the nose structure is the patchouli in this one which is missing from the og um Gris chanel but trust me when it comes to tea fig fragrances i'm a fan of tea fragrances i love tea in fragrances i think one of the best um, tea fragrances i have in my collection is um steel by jennifer lopez it's an absolute beauty and that one is not like a black tea i'm sure it's sort of a white tea sort of you know fragrance but this one is like black tea and i get that you know very dark tea nuance in this plus the fig the fig here is done so right that it's not throwing me off like in most instances fig you know sort of makes me a bit nauseous and throw me off but this one do not like in both instances like the og and the um the dupe the fig in this is like done perfectly it is quite spicy with the cardamom the sandalwood vetiva you know makes it quite woody and then that tea comes through gives giving it a very refreshing sort of you know um dark essence to it you know that is what predominantly it gives me this is a very excellent fragrance very versatile it is quite spicy quite woody quite aromatic you know very aromatic if you love aromatic fragrances you are going to absolutely adore this fragrance it's quite like an arm's length sort of fragrance it's not like going to fill up the room for everybody to smell you but i mean you'll be complimented because this one seems quite likable quite mass appealing the tea the black tea here is the main um the main character in the fig that is what i get the black tea and the um the fig and then the cardamom comes through the vetiver not too much the sandalwood is also quite there and then the vanilla makes it quite delicious quite creamy it is a very beautiful very beautiful quite gentle very sultry you know quite sexy quite sexy but not like uh -uh, sexy you know but it's it's it potentially has that you know sexy um cat daddy sort of feel but this one is a very good one you know i love this one it is quite refreshing as well very very refreshing the tea in this one you know quite refreshing it also gives me that sort of zane spa like you know essence because of that fig you know fig is quite watery aquatic coupled with that tea which gives a very um sort of sultry dark mysterious sort of feel to this one you know but it's not as heavy and dark and dense it's not at all it is quite versatile quite um um quite light in the essence of it not being too dense you know but it's not like a light fluffy girly no not 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 in that you know aspect at all but light in the sense that it's not like overpowering it's not like 
too much is not overly dense or overly saturated or overly complicated it's, it's not anything of that nature this one is a beauty like a true beauty it's quite different from the usual it's quite different from the norm fortunately because i have a full bottle of this it's giving me the opportunity to spread liberally to be able to entirely enjoy the scent profile and trust me in most instances when we say it's a one for one dupe you know they are not really like a hundred percent someone actually really did give latafa the recipe because there's no way there's no way they could have done this on their own honestly if you don't want to waste your bdk which is quite um pricey go for this one this one is around um the 40 dollar i think 30 35 40 dollar um price mark you know or less let's say less than 40 that is how much i think i picked this one for but it's amazing it's going to be a great alternative to this one anytime you're in the mood for bdk some gris chanel you will reach out for this one and save this one for maybe special locations but nobody's going to detect whether nobody's going to know which one is rich nobody like so this is a um, latafa bdk bdk latafa latafa like it's mixed up it's all the same one you no know, maybe bdk finished they gave the rest to latafa to bottle it up as um liam gray and that is exactly what i get from this one it's a very beautiful sort of calming um very comforting tea like thick like the cardamom here is not like overly um too much it's not like overpowering the other notes you know in this one and everything is blended so beautifully like everything is blended so beautifully you hardly pick up each and every note you know standing on itself or by itself the cardamom here is good it's blended well the vetiver the patchouli this is um this one has patchouli and this one apparently does not but it still doesn't it, it doesn't give you i think they only added patchouli to make this one uh, much more um to last a bit much more longer you know but the lasting power is not the greatest i'll tell you you know the lasting power for these this one i get about three to four hours on skin and then about six hours plus on clothes and this one is same you know it gets three to four hours on skin or even uh, around three hours on skin and about six hours on your on whatever spot you put it you know you can spell it um within the six hour um, mark so they are quite similar in terms of the scent uh, the, the projection the longevity the strength the potency it's not a beast mode siage monster in your face sort of you know fragrance but you will enjoy this through and through. you know i would highly recommend um latafis liam gray for the price you cannot go wrong it's a very in the middle unisex fragrance to me i would highly recommend this for all manner of weather it has that beautiful spicy cardamom that is going to cut through the cold um autumn winter weather and that beautiful fig tea you know light enough to be able to carry you through the the, the um, hotter weather take it from me i'll never lie to you about how great of a fragrance is you know if it's great it's great if it's not i'm not going to lie and sugarcoat anything that about uh, any fragrance at all because nobody has sponsored me i'm not gifted anything i bought everything with my own you know money so i'm at liberty to say exactly how i feel about these fragrances and trust me this is honestly a great interpretation of um Gris chanel by um 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 bdk it's also quite powdery because of the iris in this but it's not like that it's not a main note or the main accord it's, it doesn't the powderiness doesn't overshadow, overshadow this particular fragrance what you predominantly get is the tea the black tea the fig the cardamom and then that um um creamy sandalwood vetiver woody you know nuance at the base a very beautiful one so that is all i have for you today and i hope this video found you well please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up i would truly appreciate that thank you so much and i hope to see you in my next one take care bye, -bye.